In this video, we're going to be creating our rocket assembly by attaching the fans to the body tube, as you can see that I've done in the graphics area on your screen. You can kind of see how that's going to look. We're going to have three fans and a body tube all made it together. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to choose New Assembly. Let that come on up. I'm going to tack down the Begin Assembly dialog here. Browse for my parts. One body tube. Check. Bring it in. Since that's my first piece to come in, it's going to be fixed. Next, I'm going to bring the fin. One fin. Now, you think we might need three, but at this time, we only need one. Check. Go up here. Change those options. Document properties. Units. Inches. Four decimal places. Because we will need to be um, typing in some inches in here. All right, now, to attach this fin to this rocket body tube, we're going to be attaching along this edge that I've got highlighted here. To do that, we're going to use some reference geometry, in this case, a plane. The first reference for this plane, which is the only reference we need, is actually going to be the front plane of the body tube. Now, notice I'm not selecting this, any of these planes here. I'm using this plane here on the body tube. Okay. So what that's going to do is going to make a plane parallel to the front plane. And you can see that this is the front plane of the body tube, and this is my plane that's parallel with it. I've already got the size typed in here. What it is is the diameter of the body tube divided in half, which is pretty much the radius of the body tube. So the diameter is 1.125. Divide that by 2 gives you the radius, and you can see it here, 0.5625 is the size. If you choose flip, it puts it on the other side. For this case, it really doesn't matter. I'm going to go ahead and hit check. Now we've got that plane created. What we're going to do is mate this fin to that plane because that plane is right on the edge of our body tube. All right, let's go ahead and start that. What we need to do is make sure I got the fin, exact, the correct side of the fin before I choose the wrong one. This is the face of the fin that I'd like to mount. That face, so I'm going to go to mate, Notice I already have that face selected. And where I want to do it to is the plane, but I don't see the plane. So what I do is expand this and go here and choose plane. All right, that looks good. The coincident uh, box needs to be checked to be sure it's coincident with that plane. Check, and that's done. Now, the fin don't look right. It's not doesn't look like it's in the right place. So let's explore that f further. I'm going to choose it from the back. Now what we can see is the fin can move horizontally when viewed from the back, but I cannot move the fin up and down. So the fin cannot move down. It is level with that plane. Now we need to get the fin, another mate to mate the fin directly to the body tube. All right, let's explore that. I still got my mate dialog box here. I'm going to mate on the fin the front plane with the right plane of the body tube and you can see how they'll be in line. The front plane of the fin with the right uh, plane of the body tube. Be sure you're not choosing any of these planes up here on the actual uh, drawing area. You don't want to fool with those. Ran the right plane of the body tube with the front plane of the fin. Coincident? Check. All right, that looks good. Let's view it from the side. Oh, but the fin is too high or too low, so we need to do a further mate. This time what we're going to do is we're going to tell it a distance mate from the end of the rocket. So I'm going to choose for my mate, I'm going to choose this little edge, that little edge of the rocket there, little rocket fin. Okay, I've got it shown here. Then I'm going to zoom out and select this face. And you can see by default it's trying to do a coincident, which is not what I want to do. I want to do a set distance. So I'm going to select distance and type in 0.125, which is a quarter of an inch. That looks great. So we have a quarter of an inch of body tube hanging right out below the fin. Okay, now that's only one fin. We're going to need a total of three fins. Instead of doing further mates, which will be, get tiresome going all the way around, what we're going to do here is I'm going to close the mate uh, dialog box on the left. I'm going to go to where it says linear component on the assembly tab, and I'm going to change that down to circular component because this is going to be a circle 
around the body tube. In the parameters box, it says the pattern axis. That would be something that's round, like the body tube. Then, let me get that again, body tube. Now, for component, I want to be sure I select the fin. Okay, I don't want it to say body tube there, so let me clear that. I want it to say, got this highlighted, I want it to say fin. There we go. Now, if we view it from the back, we can tell that would make two fins. If you wanted to have three fins, four fins, five fins, six, seven, eight, and you can see it just goes on and on and on, up and up and up, up. That's 28 fins right there. For us, three. Equal spacing, if not, you can see how that's going to work. So equal spacing will pull it out to 360 degrees and have equal spacing all around the body tube. That's simple. Check. Fins are done. All the fins have uh, been placed, and we can check it from the back, or excuse me, the bottom, and we can see that all three, ends, three fins are spaced equally on the body tube. In the next video, we will mate the, remainder, the remaining components of the rocket assembly. Before we do that, let's go ahead and save. We'll call this rocket ASSEM. -E and I'm going to label mine three because I've already done some experimenting with number one and number two. So I'm going to call mine three. Okay, that's it. I'll catch you next video.